I'm still taking out five treats at night. And I didn't have the heart to put the fifth one back. For Jess Buxton, family is everything. She moved to Danville in September, hoping to be closer to her mom in St. Johnsbury. On Sunday afternoon, she let her dogs out, just like any normal day. We came out, they went to the apple tree because they've been liking to eat the apples lately. And, um, but then for some reason, they went, to, oh, they went over there. One dog came back immediately, but the other didn't. It was the last time she saw her one-year-old lab, Berkeley, healthy. What happened next isn't fully clear, but she thinks Berkeley came across one of her neighbors, 72-year-old Fred Keenan. <laughs> he probably was wagging his tail, saying hi to him, and he just shot him in the face. That night, Jess found Berkeley on the edge of her property. I saw him laying there with his head in between his paws and his eyes were halfway open and I wasn't sure if he was alive. Berkeley had been shot in the head. Jess and her mom rushed him to the vet. They brought me in the room and they just told me that they lost him. There wasn't anything they could do. It's the sweetest, most innocent, gentlest, he's 56 pounds. To see him like that is something I see all the time now. I'm never gonna get that out of my head. Acting on a tip, the Vermont State Police cited Buxton's neighbor, Fred Keenan, with charges related to aggravated animal cruelty. He will appear in court in mid-December. Reached by phone, Keenan refused to speak with NBC5. My life mission from this point on is to fight for these dogs that have to go through this, fight for these families that have had this happen to them, because I've seen this happen. But when it actually happens to you, there's not even a... You can't even describe it. With her four living dogs, Jess is left picking up the pieces. That was my boy. <laughs> In Danville, Nathaniel Reed, NBC5 News.